Hi, my name is Steve Faulkner. A very warm welcome to Real Magic Review. Today, I'm going to be reviewing The Birthday Deck by Liam Montier. Before we do this, can you like, subscribe, check out cardmagiccourse.com, com, com, <laughs> dot com, C O M at the end, dot com. You know it, you might have heard it before. Uh, so have a look at that. It's my online card magic course. Loads of people love it. You will too. And if you like this review channel, you're going to like that because that's me teaching everything I know and everything I'm learning and then know. I don't know. Uh, but have a look at it. I would love it if you did. So this is. This is a really nice trick. I didn't know anything about it. And I didn't know anything about it when I watched it. And it kind of got me. I, I, I was expecting it to negatively. I don't know why, but the way the trick was starting, I was like, oh, it's just going to be a thing. Someone says that their date of birth and they deal it out and it's going to be their chosen card. And the great thing is there's not even a chosen card in there. So it feels very different. The plot of the trick is you do a reading. You talk about playing cards, you know, actually coming before tarot cards for readings, which is has to be true. And... Uh, and you ask someone their birthday and you deal out the cards that match their birthday and you get two cards and you do a reading based on those two cards. And they go, yay. Uh, and then you turn over the two cards and on the back of them, they are, it says their birthday, like 20th of July. That's mine, by the way, uh, just, just to prepare you for, um, for the showering of gifts that's clearly going to occur uh, on that date. So it says the 20th of July on the back and the brilliant thing is there's two cards that say the date on them you then spread the rest of the deck and they're also different coloured. So it's kind of really unique. It feels very unique. It's kind of mixed between a calendar trick and a date trick and it's got that personal touch and, you know, it's got that real kicker at the end. And I did really find it surprising. I didn't think it was going to happen. So it, I thought it was really, really nice. And the lovely thing about it is it's super easy. This is a very easy trick. There's not really any sleight of hand in it. You can do it nice and slow. There's nothing you've got to remember. It's all kind of set out for you. And the brilliant thing is you can have any day of the year. So you think, as he says on it, you know, you've got all those days of the year and you think, oh, I'm going to have to think and do something. There's no maths. There's nothing like that. It's literally, you just look at the cards and pick them out and, and it's all in the presentation. Um, I think it's a really sweet trick. It's great for those people that don't want to spend, you know, months and months and months learning a slight to do a trick. It's a kind of double or triple turnover but the thing is, it's all with the routine, it's not, they're not burning the deck. And the brilliant thing is when you turn these cards over, they're, they're greeted with a sign of the cards with writing on them. So that it, it works in a way that you don't need a kind of flawless uh, double or, or, or anything like that. And when I say triple, obviously, if you've got the 31st of January, you deal three cards out. And actually, Liam decides to do this, even if it's a, only a, uh, like the 1st of January, like two digits, because he puts of in the middle, because he likes the thing of having a reading based on past, present and future. So basically there's alternate handlings in this where you have three card reading, two card reading. There's a completely slight free handling, which gets rid of any kind of double or anything like that, where you use a, a short card and that's even easier. And it's so, you know, I would just say this is suitable if you're a real beginner and you want something that feels different, it's a strong trick that isn't just one of the usual sort of self-working tricks. I think it's a really good step up where you're kind of doing a little bit of sort of sleight of hand, but nothing difficult. And if you're an advanced uh, card worker and you just want something that feels good, something for someone's birthday, um, you, you can't really do it on their birthday, actually, could you? Because I just think you've set it up, but <laughs> that doesn't work. Hey, how amazing. These cards have got your birthday on them and it's your birthday today. <laughs> oh, no, don't do that because it kind of works better if you don't know their birthday before they tell you. Uh, so nothing really negative about this. Uh, angly, angle's not going to work if you're completely surrounded because the way you've got to look through the cards, so you're going to have to step back a little bit. And that's not because of slights, that's just because of the way the trick works. Uh, what is worth knowing is that it's not ready to go out of the box. I don't have any problem with that at all. There's no real arts and crafts. It's just literally getting a Sharpie or a black marker and writing on the back of the cards. But obviously it takes a little bit of time. It took me about half an hour because I have to be very careful because my writing's terrible. So there's no point in turning over those cards and then them not, them not being able to read it because <laughs> it looks like it's been written by a six-year-old. Uh, so it took me a bit of time, but it'll probably take you a lot less than me. But I think it's totally worth it for that lovely personal touch you've got in this trick. And tricks that have a personal touch are really, really nice, aren't they? Um, and the, in, the reset is super quick. It pretty much instantly resets. So I think it's a really cool trick and not much more to say about it. 
Other than that, have a look at the trailer, have a look at the whole trick. I won't show it in this because it just takes up even more time, but you've got the basic gist uh, and check it out. That's uh, all the stuff is below. So do use the links below. They're not affiliate links, but it is nice to, to use the links that I'm given. Uh, so check it out there. And that'd be lovely. Please like and subscribe. Check out cardmagiccourse.com and, uh, and share this with your friends. That would be great. Have a great one. Stay safe. Take care. Bye.